Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to look at uh, the derivation for the equation of uh, center of mass of a two-particle system. Right. So the equation that we are going to derive is RCM is equal to MR1 plus M2R2 upon M1 plus M2. We saw this, uh, we looked at this equation in the previous video. So we are going to derive this. Uh, before we get into the derivation of this particular uh, equation, uh, let us uh, go through some basics of vectors. Uh, we know that uh, the velocity vector is equal to uh, displacement, this is the position vector. So dr by dt gives you velocity and acceleration is dv by dt. And if you substitute for v dr by dt from over here, then we will get acceleration is d square by d square of the position vector. And so we get this equation, acceleration is the d double differentiation of the position vector. So in a sense, we have obtained the velocity vector and the acceleration vector in terms of the position vectors r. Right? And we will be using this during the course of this derivation. So let's start off. So this is what we want to derive. Uh, let us say we have a two particle system and this is particle 1 and this is particle 2. Their masses are m1 and m2 and their velocity vectors are v1 and v2 and the external force acting on them are f1 and f2. So these are the external forces acting on them. Now, apart from these F1 and F2 external forces, there will be internal forces acting on them. For example, F12. This is the internal force acting on body 1, right, and applied by body 2. And the internal force acting on body 2, which is applied by body 1. Right. These are the internal forces acting between the two masses. But by Newton's third law of motion, the internal masses the internal forces rather, right, they cancel out each other because F12 is equal to minus F21. They are equal and opposite. So they will cancel out each other. So we will get F12 plus F21 is equal to 0, right, and therefore we can see they cancel out each other and therefore we will not consider them uh, as the forces uh, in, the, in the course of this derivation. So we'll be, we will focus only on the external forces. Okay. Now, Force is rate of change of momentum, so force is dmv by dt, right? This is the general equation, force is dmv by dt. So applying this equation, applying this equation to the two bodies, I will get f1 is equal to d by dt of m1v1. And f2 is equal to d by dt of m2v2. These are the two, these are the two external forces. Yes, they form the form of vector. So the net external force acting on the two particle system, two particle system, is equal to F one plus F two, and let us call it F external. So this is the net external force, or the total external force acting on the two particle system, F external. Therefore, F external is equal to d by dt of m1 v1 plus d by dt of m2 v2, which I can write as d by d, d by dt of m1 v1 plus m2 v2 f external force now for dv1 i can write down for v1 can be written as dr1 by dt and v2 is equal to dr2 by dt this is as we discussed at the beginning of the video right Let's go back over here for a moment and you can see over here V is equal to dr by dt. So from that I get V1 is equal to dr1 by dt and V2 is equal to dr2 by dt. So I'll put these values over here, right? So I'll get d by dt of m1 dr1 by dt plus m2 dr2 by dt. Since m is constant, I can take it in the differentiation. So I can take d by dt of d m1 r1 by dt plus d of dt m2 r2. 
now now we have double differentiation over here we have differentiation over here and over here so what we will get finally is that a double differentiation this can be written as t square by dt square of m1 r1 plus m2 r2 so f external is equal to this particular expression right? now if i multiply m1 and m2 what i'll do is i'll write f external is equal to i will multiply and divide by m1 and m1 plus m2 so i'll get m1 plus m2 into d square by dt square m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by m1 plus m2 so I had multiplied m1 plus r2 and divided by m1 plus r2, but since m1 plus r2, m2 is a constant, so I can take it inside the, the differentiation expression. So I get this equation. Right? Uh, le let's let's see further what happens. So I'll rewrite the equation that we were with. So f external is equal to m1 plus m2 d square by dt square of m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 right now if i look at this equation closely it resembles force is mass and so therefore this term would be acceleration uh, if we compare this with the equation force into mass in acceleration this is force this is mass so this term has to be acceleration now this is the net force acting on the two particle system and this is the total mass of the two particle system so this term this entire term will be the acceleration of the two particle system so i'll write down over here acceleration of the two particle system is equal to d square by dt square m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 and we know that the acceleration of the two particle system is equal to the acceleration of the center of mass of the two particle system so i can write that this is equal to acm meaning the acceleration of the center of mass of the two particle system right so this particular term is acceleration of the two uh, center of mass of the two particle system now if i look at the equation that we had looked at at the beginning of the video right uh, I'll just for a moment bring it over here for reference so this was the equation I want to draw your attention to this equation a is d square r by dt square r so I'll write it once again over here right, I'll write down a is equal to d square by dt square r right and if I compare this particular these two equations right this is acceleration this is equation acceleration this is d square by dt square dt square and this is r so and this will be the r of the center of mass so if i compare these two equations i'll get rcm is equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 and this is how we arrive at that equation of the position vector of the center of mass system right thank you